all right guys i want you all to see who showed up on the day practically we hit 25,000 subscribers on <laughs> muddy feet concrete pumping thanks to y'all michael setnox showed up and he brought us a present for bill yeah uh back at world of concrete if you watch some of the videos back then uh scott at canadian concrete pumper introduced me to jeff and scott had talked jeff up quite a bit you know uh, he's an overinflator. yeah <laughs> that's definitely right he needs to be regulated a little uh but he said he wanted to do videos like jeff so you know he brought jeff over introduced you know me to him and he's talking about using an air cuff and how his brother-in-law wanted one but he didn't you know get it on there so i said you know what later this year let's do it and here the heat here, of the summer yeah uh, and picked the, the hottest day so, <laughs> so far hot. this year uh <laughs> with the humidity up there you know to do this so i brought an air cuff out to jeff and uh jeff ordered all the parts from concord so that we could get this installed so it worked on your pump switch yep yep and uh and you hooked up some of the plumbing or some of the air but you and i worked on or you know we're going to work on some of the other stuff you know to get her yeah, done yeah yeah because there there are some appliances that go along with it and actually bill does know that this is coming because bill and i uh had a rainy day the other day and we actually started plumbing because you do have to have an air source and we come off the auxiliary tank right here and you can see the quick connect I did with a hose right there, or Bill and I did. And then we ran it up through here and into the cabinet. And it's kind of sloppy, but a lot of this stuff, we are gonna go back and make more permanent, but for the time being of getting it set up and getting things, making sure everything worked and, and the truck was good with it, it's it's just sitting here. So don't Jobs panic. are scheduled right so we could do this today. Absolutely. I'm here, you know, so. Absolutely. We couldn't make it too pretty, but we got her done. We'll, we'll Bill and I'll fix it. We'll, yeah, we'll get we got pretty. it done. <laughs> but, but here's the hose coming from the auxiliary tank and then into our regulator, correct? Regulator, yeah. And we've got it set at 60 PSI. Is that, 60, that's, is that the yeah. range we're, we're... Yeah. You know, I'd say 60 is a really good number. You know, it might be a little more, a little less if the wire hose or you know, a little smaller hose we're using four and a half and it's going to be, okay, you know, pretty good. And, uh, you know, on our just checking it, you know, and we'll check it later when the booms open to see how it's compressing. So right now it looks pretty good, you know, with where we're at, but we'll check it when we got the truck open. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, and then from the regulator, we go to our what's solenoid. This? Solenoid. Yeah. The air solenoid. So air comes in and it goes out and of course it's wired in. For the wiring this is a 12 volt one i did see there were some 24 could it be some 24 yeah. volt ones but this is a 12 volt one so the power the, source the 24 is. volt systems are a little bit more forgiving uh, a lot of the pump companies did that for a little bit and then they kind of some of them kind of went back to 12. 12 is a lot simpler 24 is a little more forgiving with the electrical current you could have a little bit more voltage drop if you got an issue before it stops working whereas 12 you don't lose that much before it stops working so, yeah 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 so you gotta check you gotta know if your truck's 12 or 24 you know when you're you know ordering all the parts or pieces uh, to put it all together and check with your manufacturer i i honestly i'm i feel fortunate to be with concord they've always taken care of me uh, I, I'm a one pump guy at the moment, and those guys have been phenomenal. Uh, Mike has seen that today with uh, Nick helping us out. I mean, they're, they're yeah. our, like this truck was not set up for this. A uh, huge so, shout out to Nick at Concord for uh, walking us through some of the stuff and being patient. <laughs> and being patient. We must have called him about six times a day. We but, made uh, four trips to the store. Yeah, we need some wire and <laughs> stuff. So, and it, like I said, this is kind of a rat's nest, but we'll clean it up. We just, we're trying to get things done in a timely manner. But you got a couple of relays here. The main one is this delay relay right here. Um, it's got settings on the back of it. So you can time when you're, make sure I get this right. You can time when you turn your pump on and the cuff deflates before the pump starts pumping. Correct. So we want the air cuff to deflate before we start pumping to push, you know, through the air cuff. So we want, you know, we want it to deflate and you can, we can, we'll hear that, you know, uh, it'll deflate. 
you know, probably about five seconds or so. And we can adjust it through that timer if we need a little bit more time, but it'll deflate, then the pump will turn on. And that'll be a little something that it's gonna freak Jeff out for the first time or two <laughs> when he turns that sucker on and it doesn't start pumping right away. Yeah. And then he's gonna hear the air cuff deflating and go, oh yeah, yeah. that's what it is. There we go. But yeah, but shout out to Nick. Uh, it's just, it was phenomenal. He had a lot of patience with us with on this part of it, so. And this is the first time that I've actually worked with someone to wire it in the pump. So, you know, Jeff, you know, Jeff initially was like, you know, man, you know, it's been busy with everything going on and it's a little hard to get on there. And I'm like, no, I'd actually enjoy doing it with you because I haven't done this myself. So it was a little bit of an eye opening experience, you know, for me and a little bit, it's, it's good feedback and good experience to see how this was wired in the delay. We had to learn how the delay timer worked and how to adjust the timing. So there was a lot, a little bit of, a little bit of a learning curve here and there, but uh, it was a, a good experience. And I'm glad I got to share that with Jeff and, and Wired today. Well, and being an owner operator, I mean, a lot of times, you know, Bill and I depend on each other to come up with the, with the, with the what is or, what, or why something's not quite right. Well, at least now that we've done this ourselves, I'll have an idea of what I, what might need to check if something's not quite right, or maybe if a wire just come loose. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll have an idea of where to go to look for that part of it. So I'm, now, I'm glad to be able to do that. Conforms does sell. It's a, a metal panel with our air regulator and the solenoid, all kind of you know that you can mount all to it, and then just mount, mount the plate inside here, um, and then you know you wire it up kind of like we did today. Um, you know it's. It's designed for, you know, any pump really, you know, that has, you know, that we can work with it. But basically this pump, you know, was set up where, you know, Concord said you can use these things. So we just did our thing with uh, what Concord, with what Concord sent you. So, you know, all good. You know, if you have an older pump that doesn't have a lot of electronics, that's what that kit would be for. And check with your local supplier where you get, you know, stuff. And uh, they can set you up with electronics like that if you need to or you know check with your manufacturer you know the different guys like nick at concord can walk you through it or give you the instructions you know to, to do it you know right here yeah. yeah no he come in clutch there's a lot of wires there i'll tell you that box is intimidating <laughs> it is and trying to find some of the wires that are bundled up so you cut the right one yeah. was a little bit scary and yeah. we double checked it and then you know triple checked it because we were worried about cutting stuff because oh. Jeff's got mud in the morning. Yeah, I'll now, be sleeping. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving out at two in the morning. So, you know, 4 a.m. I don't want to be waking Nick up going, hey, buddy. <laughs> so I think I think we need to fix your cab, though. And I need to put this sticker. Oh, oh, look at I that. Need to, I need to put this sticker probably right here. Yeah, let's let's get away and shut the door or he's not being seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's put him out here. Let's get put him, him out. Let's put, put him out here. Whoop. I tell you what, let's put him right here by the Concord and by the gauges right here. That'll be a good. That'll be a good spot. Let's see if I can get this peeled off. So yeah, there you go, Scotty. <laughs> oh. And I'm gonna leave you with one, so you've got one to put on your hard hat or something right. if you need to. Absolutely. Or on Bill. Get Absolutely. Bill Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Mike. So we're we're connected up. Yep. We got our hose connected. We kick the, the truck on. Safety straps. We got our safety straps. Yep. And we can see it when it's inflated here. We want to use the lowest amount of air pressure we can. Uh, right now, our regulator's set at 60. We can see we're getting a pretty good compression on this hose. We want to use the lowest air pressure we can uh, to kink the hose. It might need a little bit more with wire hose, a little less of fabric. Right now, it's doing okay. We won't know until you're pumping concrete with it, you know, if 60's gonna do it. But uh, that's an easy change. You know, you just going in there and, and adjusting the regulator. So it looks like, you know, when we turn on the pump on and off, we can watch that inflate and deflate. So we're doing pretty good there. Uh, Right now the pump's off, so it's uh, it's inflated. So you're gonna give her a little throttle and let's see. It's got a timer on it, so 
it's going to slow down, let this deflate, and then she'll start pumping. So we've got the stroke control turned way down so it doesn't start pumping right now. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that all worked. Go ahead and turn the pump off. And we can see she inflates pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, we're looking really good on this side. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's... A lot of this was pretty simple to yeah. set up. I mean, it's... You just kind of got to follow the directions, you know? Yeah. But we, uh, we, you've got an airline run through the metal hydraulic lines, which was really awesome for you. Uh, and what Concord did there, at least we can plumb into it really quick right here. And then we just ran a little pigtail, you know, to our air cuff. We're going to have to do something with the straps because it'll just loosen up and scoot down. But, you know, no worries, you know. The, these straps are designed a little long because if you had a five to four reducer on and a four inch yeah. hose or or whatever, we want them to be a little long. So, you know, you can adjust that, you know, as as uh, you're using it. But yeah, this was this was really simple, you know, to plumb into the boom. Yeah, I mean that this truck came with this line. It was plumbed into here. I mean, it's it can be in one an extra airline or two if you lose a hydraulic line to one of your cylinders, you can swap it out and get back going without having to chase hoses all the way up and stuff. Yeah, worst case, worst case is, is we had to stretch this sucker out and run an airline all the way from our cabinet, you know, up the tower, down the boom, all the way to the end, zip yeah. tie it on place. And as the zip ties broke with the sun and weather, you know, you're up there fixing them so they don't catch on something. Yeah. But uh, this is really nice, you know, that it's, yeah. it's set up like that. Yep. 100%. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm in, I mean, I like it. I'm, I can't wait to use it. Uh, it'll, I know Bill, Bill's asked for one several times. I just kind of blow him off. But well, when he comes back from vacation, he's going to have a, a, a nice surprise. Oh, it's almost like Christmas time. In, exactly. In July. Oh, <laughs> well, it would be June. Well, yeah. it's hot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it is hot. So. But yeah, very cool. So, I, and y'all wondering, I'm, I'm running a five to four and a half reducing hose. So there's the reduction right there. This is a four and a half inch hose. But it's, is this a one size fit all or is this a four or five It'll inch? It'll work up to three inch. And then uh, uh, Scott, that Canadian concrete pumper, he has one of our small line air cuffs that's designed for smaller hose because they do uh, a little smaller hoses up his way for uh, some projects. Right. So he loves that thing, that the smaller air cup. Uh, the bigger air cup doesn't like the smaller hose that's wire, it's hard to compress it because it's too big. Yeah. It's like a blood pressure cup, you know? And they've got kids sizes, they've got adult sizes. It's basically an adult size. Right. So Well the Canadians have smaller rocks, so they can use smaller hoses. Yeah. Up in where <laughs> up where Scott is, he's got really nice uh, sand. It's all natural sand, natural rock, you know, he's yeah. got really good uh, yeah. concrete there. So, you know, when, what I find is some people that have a little harsher mixes like you do down here in Texas, crushed rock, crushed sand, you know, they're running a pro most of the time a four and a half inch hose. That little bit of reduction allows a good steady flow yeah. so that, you know, you get a good stream without turning the same way the heck up so the guys can keep up with a good flow while they're pouring. So the four and a half inch hose is really common in areas where the mud's a little rocky and a little massive. Okay, well, good deal. Well, this is great. This is great. Yeah, I think, I think we're good to go here. So, folding up, I don't have to worry about anything. It just... Well, I mean, the first couple times you put her to bed, we're going to have to see where this flops out of the way. Yeah. Does it flop into something that causes you a little grief? You know, maybe we got to trim it up a little bit. You know, uh, some guys take this air cuff off. The good thing is that this thing only weighs eight pounds. It's super easy to take off and put back on, throw it in your cab. It's not a big heavy monster. Some of the ones on the market are metal. Some of them are vulcanized rubber. They're heavy, they're bulky. Um, and we talked about it, but not on your video, that this bladder inside can be rebuilt. Uh, on the other side, there's some plates or some bars that press the uh, uh, bladder closed so you can rebuild this fully you know, while you have it. Uh, so 
as long as it doesn't get too beat up, you can just keep rebuilding it. You know, we've got this patented now, and uh, uh, we sell a lot of them every year. Yeah. You know, rebuild kits, air cuffs, because again, some of the guys are like, I'm not putting that air cup on. It's too heavy. It's too hard to get on. Well, this is super easy. Sure. Eight pounds. You know, there's no complaining, even from Scott, who's got six inch guns. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So, you know, and we put the quick connect here, which is a good idea, you know, that you had. So we can just take the big tail off. If you're doing something a little weird, and we don't want that thing flopping around. We just disconnect the airline and get the heck out of our way. Yeah. Which I really love that idea too. Yeah, yeah. Well, and also, I mean, if you ever need to blow your blow your boom out from yeah. the opposite way, well, well, that's a good point. You got air here. We got air right here. Yeah. So I might want to adjust my regulator if I need more pressure for whatever reason. But right. it's just right there in the cabinet. I'll show you in a minute. You just turn it and watch your valve or watch your needle go up and down with the pressure that you want. And like you said, we got it at 60 right now. 60 ought to be more than enough to blow the boom out. I mean, I blow my system out with about 30, 40 psi. So 60 ought to be more than enough. But you never know. You may want to put more to it. To start it's to get important it. to remember, and I say this in a lot of my safety discussions: if we can't pump out the plug, we can't blow it out with air. Our pump is capable of doing around 1200 psi. That air compressor is only going to do 120. Yeah. So our pump is 10 times stronger. So if we can't pump it, we can't blow it out with air. We got to figure out where the problem is and then go from there. Absolutely. If it's still, you know, maybe we had a problem with our, our pump or mechanical thing, yeah, the air yeah. is going to do a really good job. But if we're plugged, it will not blow out with air. We're, you know, we got to find the problem and then clear it and then we can blow out of there. It's a super safety, uh, important safety tip. That's a good yeah good one good one so yeah so anyway we've got that connection there for that so there's how that fits together the dump valve is right here it's just part of this this funky 90 and that's where the air vents to deflate the air cup and that just feels like rubber i guess i mean it, it reminds yeah. me of fire hose well it's almost like our lay flat hose but it's a different material you know that can that can expand and contract yeah but overall this has been a huge success for us i look forward to be able to use it and i know bill will too so we've we've had some jobs in the past some videos in the past that that would have been amazing to have and i'm looking forward to watching some of your videos where you're using it <laughs> and and then you i want you, i want you to take the camera and go thanks thanks michael Popcorns. yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> he saw us check it out and everything it it just worked like it's supposed to you know um i can't wait for bill to get back from vacation and we'll <laughs> can go try it out yeah um, and congratulations jeff for twenty five thousand subscribers well, thank you yeah no thank I, you very much when That's... i saw that shout out from scott on that i was just like wow yeah I... and uh <laughs> you guys do a lot for the pumping industry and that's why i'm here today you know and and uh hooking you up with an air cuff and doing this with you because you know you guys teach a lot you show these guys you get them a little less intimidated to do some of these things and uh you know i appreciate it it makes the industry safer and better you guys do a hell of a thing well it's it's enjoyable and it's uh it's, it's nice to, to get some notoriety for doing what we do and, and you know not that we're just trying to be fame hogs or anything no but, um it's it's we do show our real life struggles out here so yeah. you know we're we're, we are human and we are approachable too so if you see us email us may leave comments yeah uh, you can come to our live streams hopefully we'll get mike back soon for one of the live streams uh what a what a fun deal youtube's been fun for me uh like i said we appreciate the guys that have subscribed and helped us out if you haven't subscribed it's greatly appreciated it doesn't cost you a thing and it means a whole heck of a lot to me and other guys like scott and then darren and caleb over on their channels so y'all check them out make sure you subscribe to their channels they're doing a lot of the same stuff we are just a different area and maybe a different a little bit different culture who knows so and if you have anything you guys want them to see or or do you know throw it in the comment section yeah, yeah i mean not that you know they'll get to a lot of this stuff but it's something that they can work on you know maybe they can work on a, a little video or a little shout out to somebody somewhere that wants a little bit of extra knowledge or a little bit of help somewhere i think that'd be absolutely awesome. absolutely i ask for help you know <laughs> i'm like what do you want me to do you know for safety training sometimes well so. and also if y'all have any questions or comments about the aircraft while we went through things like that 
uh, if, if Mike doesn't see the comments, I'll make sure I forward it to him and get you an answer for that. And then hopefully on our next live feed, we'll bundle those up and then we'll bring those comments out to the live feed and we'll let Mike answer those comments live for you too. So just be watching for that. But don't, but like I said, just leave, if you, don't, if you have questions or anything that we went through, go ahead and leave it in the comments and we can try to answer them as best as we can. Especially what's fresh on my mind. But it's always I'm, good on I'm mine. I'm looking forward to seeing the live video of Jeff using the aircuff, you know, or Bill. One or both of you out there doing if, it. If, if Jeff's doing it, then something's wrong. We gotta have Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at the aircraft on the while it's folded up. That way, y'all can see how it looks while it's folded up. And it's, it is out of the way. We had to adjust it when we did fold the boom up and slide it down a little bit because because I do have an arm bracket right there for the fourth section. But we was able to get it to slide down and, and clear that where it wasn't pinched or riding against each other while we're going down the road. So. We, yeah, it'll take a little adjustment. The straps are really long, you know, so we can adjust it. And uh, when we get it out, you know, outside and kind of open it up and check it out and make sure it looks like it's in a good spot, you know, we'll kind of see it and you'll make some adjustments when we get there or when you get there. So, but anyway, well, Mike, thank hey, you, sir. Thank thanks you for making much. the time. I came oh, all the way here. Yes. I'm glad we could do this and that uh, everything was worked out. No, oh, thank you very much. That's that's, uh, that's 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 big for us. It's nice to have. It's a nice it's a nice addition to this truck. So I want to yeah. thank you very much for for coming out and spending your time and doing that for us. Yeah, no worries. And don't forget, that's because it conforms. They can look at the conform website. I'll leave you a link to the conform website in the description of this video. So if y'all want to click on it. They can go over and, and find the catalogs and all the different things that Conforms right. has. We've worked on our website. It's changed a couple times in the last couple years. Uh, so, yeah, the link will be awesome. Okay. So, don't forget to get a hold of them. But anyway, that's it for today. We're going to go and try to find some cool air conditioning because it has gotten hot and humid as the days progress. So, we're going to get out of here. But thank you all for watching. Don't forget to lock the hubs in. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. And uh, we'll check you on the next one. Thank you, guys.